Hello friends, let's see uh, the last step of this process to uh, create end-to-end -end API using Entity Framework. So uh, the last step would be to uh, do our relationship that is foreign key constant and um, we will do this using Entity Framework and the database is obviously SQL Server. So far what we have is Student Master. Now let's create student details. So same thing will go here, ID and um, address and other sort of things. Let's see in the database what fields we have here. Address, phone, DOB, sorry. Address, phone and date of birth. And give the reference to the uh, student master table here student master and uh, name is name it as student master and same goes for the student master model we have to add student details and student details get and set now uh, while this is good <coughs> next thing what we have to do is uh, we have to set our the identity column to do this what we can do is we can mention that this will be the key uh, this ID and it will be auto generated identity same goes into the details now the next thing would be to uh, add a data set uh, DB set for student details let's do the same thing student details and change this also to student details and one more thing we need which is very important to uh, make this work on model creating so when it will be creating the model it will have the the relationship has one and with one and here we are mentioning the on the foreign key okay and we have to add one more column here this student master id let's add this into our details table copy and paste it change it to student master ID okay so what is the error student details does not contain definition student master let's go to student details so okay it will be master not masters now this is fine now let's go to our controller and while saving we are using student as payload we need to uh, add few more properties probably only date of birth name address phone date of birth name address phone date of birth okay this should be okay the last thing we have to make changes here to add the data into the student details table so student details to new student details and date of birth date of birth uh, yeah okay now this should be okay let's let's uh, restart the server and uh, check this working or not okay let's see the on the post one let's try this out this seems working let's go to the database and refresh this so Jeremy inserted here let's see the details okay ID was 202003 let's verify this okay 2003 2003 is the master ID and Austria so this is working correctly now let's uh, make a change to uh, get the data as well from our uh, details table as well so currently we are getting the data from our master table only let's get this from details as well we have to add where clause 
where master dot id is equal to details dot student master id fine now we have to select the columns select new previously we were selecting everything from the master now we have to select each fields from our um, specific tables Let's focus for uh, Jeremy. So we have a student ID which is 2003. Name is correct. Okay, typo here, but uh, the value is correct. DOB, um, let's see. Okay, it will be DOB and it will be address. So the things are uh, working correctly. I will check it one more time, but everything seems uh, working correctly. So this is the last step that I wanted to show you in this process. Uh, later maybe we can uh, um, do some transaction and some other features like file upload and other sort of things. Let's check this one. Name, address, DOB. Okay, everything seems fine. Uh, thanks guys, thanks for watching the video.